Speaker, I rise to support the motion not only on behalf of the 1.7 million people who have signed a petition on our website against a prorogation of Parliament until we have made decisions on Europe, but also as someone who is profoundly disturbed by the contempt for parliamentary democracy that the Prime Minister has shown in seeking a five-week prorogation of Parliament. And it is profoundly dangerous to our democracy because, as we all know, democracy never disappears with a bang. It disappears by small incremental steps, each one justified as saying that things need to be sorted out, things need to be done, people are blocking the way. And I say that as someone who believes that we should implement the decision of the referendum, but also in a representative democracy that it is for Parliament to decide how that decision should be implemented. And we have struggled with it because we are struggling to reconcile a plebiscite with a representative democracy. That struggle has not been made any easier by the misleading statements made during that referendum that we would get the easiest trade deal ever and so on. And Brexit cannot be accomplished, as the Prime Minister seeks to tell us, by a few slogans from a self-help book and a rousing chorus of always look on the bright side of life. It is complicated and Parliament has to deal with those complications. I have no doubt that the Prime Minister sees himself as a Democrat. I'm told he keeps a bust of Pericles in Downing Street. I don't know whether he chose Pericles because his foreign policy alienated most of the other Greek states or because he prorogued the Athenian assembly. But while he speaks as a, he sees himself as a democrat, he speaks like a demagogue. He has called parliamentarians collaborators with Europe in seeking to block no deal. He uses the language of a war. There are far too many people here trying to relive a war in which they were not only too young to take part, but are too young even to remember. And that demeans the sacrifices of those who fought in that war. Our job is to take the difficult decisions. And one of the things we must do, it seems to me, is to block a no-deal Brexit, which would be disastrous for this country, disastrous for most of our constituents. And it damaged not just this generation, but generations to come. And where are all the members of the Cabinet who told us that prorogation would be an affront to parliamentary democracy? Mad. A ridiculous suggestion. Silent as the grave. And if Cabinet government no longer exists, and it seems not to exist, then it is for Parliament to ensure that the government is properly scrutinised. I know it will be difficult for many on the opposition benches tonight. Uh, sorry, on the government benches tonight. They have been threatened with the loss of the whip and the loss of their jobs. Many will have to break the bonds of loyalty to their own party, which all of us have. But I beg them tonight to act not in their own interests or in the interests of the party, but in the interests of the country. They should remember what Clem Attlee once said. If you begin to view yourself as only responsible to a political party, you are halfway to a dictatorship. The country expects us tonight to act in the national interest and it is vital that we do so. Yeah. Yeah.